Have you ever wondered how a battery works? Well, in chemistry, you'll learn about galvanic cells, which are the foundations for what batteries actually are. And it's all to do with redox reactions. In redox reactions, we have a transfer of electrons. And electricity is the flow of electrons. So what we can do in making a galvanic cell, we take our two reactants, one which is losing electrons and one which is gaining electrons, and we connect them together with wires. What that does is it pushes electrons around a circuit and we get the flow of electricity. This thing here is going to allow me to measure the electricity or the flow of electrons from this cell that I've created. The cell I've created here has two particular half cells. One of them is a copper half cell with solid copper and a solution of copper nitrate. This one over here has zinc and zinc nitrate. If I look at my electrochemical series, which I've got here, I can see that my copper is a strong oxidant and it's going to oxidize my zinc over here. So what that means is that the electrons are going to flow from my zinc and move around my circuit and they are going to be gained by my copper ions here in the solution. And what I can then measure is if I connect it, I'm going to see electricity being produced because I'm going to measure the voltage of that electricity. So let's go have a look at that now. There we go. So as soon as I connect it, I can see that I'm reading some charge. I'm sorry, I'm not reading charge, I'm reading voltage. What that means is we have a complete circuit and electrons are being lost from this zinc plate here and they're flowing through my wire and they are being pushed into my copper and they're being gained by my copper ions in the solution there. With galvanic cells, we have particular names that we give things. This copper is where the reduction reaction is occurring and electrons are being gained. So that makes that the cathode. Over here at our zinc, that's where oxidation is occurring and electrons are being lost. That makes that the anode. Now with batteries, you have a positive and negative terminal and that's coming from this idea here as well. In galvanic cells, your anode is negative because it's producing the electrons. So it's charged with a negative charge and that electrons are coming out of there. As it moves around to your cathode, that is charged positive in galvanic cells. So our positive terminal is our cathode, so therefore our copper here is our cathode. Obviously, this here is quite large and we can't carry it around. So when we make a battery, we compact it a bit smaller. But this is the basic idea.